Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today we are going to be reading another chapter in our Bible. Along Alright, now that we got a fresh battery, because apparently the media mod and mic or something, it just keeps sapping power from the GoPro battery when it's turned off. So it showed me that it was at 40% and <clears throat> then it turned off and said, oh, turning off low, ba low power. Oh man, happens all the time. Anyhow, let's dive in to our to our Bible and our devotional book. I'm gonna set them down right there. Set you guys down right here. I'm gonna stand and read today. Hopefully you guys can hear those birds because man, oh they, they are chirping. We're going to start in chapter 9 today. Thumbnail. <laughs> so if you guys haven't been following along with the Bible reading, you guys can check the playlist down below. It's in my description and you can, uh, you can find find this series and follow along all the way from the beginning of Genesis we're gonna get all the way through this thing all the way you can also buy the same exact Bible in a link down below now it is an Amazon affiliate link so I may get commission off of it thank you thank you thank you so much for using my links it really does help let's begin this is God's covenant with Noah we read just a little bit of this in chapter 8 last time so I'm going to start from right there, and then we'll go all the way to chapter 10. God's covenant with Noah. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and took some of every clean and some of every clean bird, a clean animal, and some of every clean bird, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And when the Lord smelled the pleasing aroma, the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground because of man, for the intention of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I ever again strike down every living creature as I have done. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. Now that is the ending of chapter 8, but the beginning of this, this story. So chapter 9. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. The fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every bird of the heavens, upon everything that creeps on the ground and all the fish of the sea. Into your hand they are delivered. Every morning, every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. And as I gave you the green plants, I give you everything. But you shall not eat flesh with its life, that is, blood. And for your blood, your life, your lifeblood, I will require a reckoning. From every beast, I will require, require it, and from man. From his fellow man, I will require a reckoning for the life of man. Whoever sheds the blood of man by man shall his blood be shed, for God made man in his own image. And you, be fruitful and multiply, increase greatly on the earth and multiply in it. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, Behold, I established my cov covenant with you and your offspring after you. And with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the livestock, and every beast of the earth with you, as many as came out of the ark, it is for every beast of the earth. I established my covenant with you, that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of the flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant that I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you and for all future generations. 
I have set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be a sign of my covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth, and the bow is seen in the clouds, I will remember my covenant that is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. When the bow... Did I say bow last time? <laughs> when the bow is in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant that I have established between me and all flesh that is on earth. Noah's descendants. Real quickly, that that bow is the rainbow. It's called the rainbow. That is what we refer to as the bow in this story. Like, it is the rainbow. Anytime you see a rainbow, it's God saying, Hey, I remember my covenant with, with Noah, and it still stands today. That's amazing. It's amazing. Noah's descendants. The sons of Noah went forth from the ark were Shem, Ham, Japhethim. Ham was the father of Can Canaan. These were these three were the sons of Noah, and from these people of the whole earth were dispersed. Noah began began to be a man of the soil, and he planted a vine garden. He drank of the wine and became drunk, and lay uncovered in his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside. Then Shem and Japhim took a garment, laid it on both their shoulders, and walked backwards, covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces were turned backwards, and they did not see their father's nakedness. When Noah woke, awoke from his wine and knew what his youngest son had done, he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall be he shall shall he be to his brothers he also said blessed the lord the god of shem and let canaan be his servant may god enlarge japheth and let him dwell in the tents of shem and let canaan be his servant after the floods the flood no lived 350 years all of the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. And that brings us to chapter 10. So Noah lived 950 years. Man. I, I, I couldn't imagine living that long. 950 years. But he spent 600 of those years before and during the ark. And then 350 after the flood. That, that's amazing. Anyhow, let's set the Bible aside now. And we are going to read our day-by-day -day devotions. And then I'll let you guys be free to enjoy the rest of your weekends. I know you got some cool stuff going on. You got some relaxing moves. You know, life. It is exciting. But I am very, very thankful to have you here with me. Reading along or just listening. It's amazing. I appreciate each and every one of you. So, our day-by-day -day devotions for dads this is for dads however many of these have been able to be applied to anybody and everybody so that's why I continue to like sharing these plus I know a lot of you guys like to hear them too so it's, it's great it's amazing beginning good works I thank my God every time I remember you and all my prayers for all of you I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now being confined of this confident being confident of this that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus Philippians 1 3 through 6 my kids are all out of the house four married one single and living on her own grandkids scamper around our place on a regular basis but they all go home at the end of the day at this stage of life my offspring do not require my constant attention 
Sure, there are photos all over the house and my office, but those two-dimensional images are part of the background of life. Still, God brings each of my kids and grandkids to my mind several times a day. Not constantly, but they are always near the front of my consciousness. I'm sure you are the same way. The thoughts meander. What are they doing? Are they okay? Are they having a good day? What are they celebrating? What are they worried about? Do they need my help? This day, this hour, this season of their lives, and they relying on God or pushing God away? Are they relying on God or pushing God away? As God brings people, resources, and fresh ideas into their lives, will they have the courage and insight to accept those gifts? Will they allow God to complete the good work He has begun in their lives? There is no way I will ever know the answer to all those questions. We're talking about four sons, a daughter, four daughter-in-laws, two granddaughters, four grandsons. <laughs> How could I possibly know every opportunity, opportunity they encounter and every challenge they face? But God knows. That's why Paul's opening lines to the Philipp Philippi Philippian Philippines. Oh my goodness, I can't I can't read really it. Say it again today are so crucial for dads. Read them again. Look at the verbs. Remember, think, pray, be confident. Whether your kids are in preschool, grad school, or the school of life, that's a pretty good formula for dads of all ages. Remember, think, pray, be confident. What about you? Paul wrote this letter from jail to a healthy church in the city of F Philippi. Philippe, 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 Philippi, Philippi. <clears throat> he couldn't stop by anyone's apartment, take them to Sunday brunch, catch a ball game, help them rewire a lamp, go to the zoo, assemble furniture from Ikea, <laughs> or play 18 holes this Saturday. With your grown kids growing their own families, you could you can probably do any or all of these things. Some of your questions may even be answered. I like that. For me, it I see my family is growing and it's expanding. It's multiplying. It's like what we read in the Bible today. And it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. But it also brings some struggles because... That means there's even more friends and more family members added, which isn't a problem. But it just makes it difficult, the holidays are coming up, to go and see every single one of them on every single holiday. It makes it difficult. But I still think about all of my family and all of my friends and all of you on those special days. And even today is like today where... It's just another Sunday. It's just another day. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing us all with another day. It's amazing, isn't it? Huh? Huh? He wasn't listening. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this little reading, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. Huh? You're, you're supposed to say ring that bell. Let's and we go. will catch you in the next video. Have a great night and God bless. <laughs> Don't ever give up, God is here with you yeah. You are a child, nothing but love is true This God is fixing you, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ